Hey, this is, well, this is not the Beige and the Bold. Uh, this is not my podcast. This is a tour of the perfect base design in Minecraft. That is what I call it. I find it very convenient. So I'm going to connect my realm here for a second. Uh, so the, the basic idea is you've got a core, and then you've got wings in each direction that perform certain functions within the Minecraft game. Nothing here is mocked up to be like a real house or whatever. You don't need a kitchen in Minecraft because you don't need to wash your hands. You don't need a bathroom in Minecraft. You don't need to wash your hands. You don't need to poop. Here is the core. Ahead of me is the uh, the staircase. I'm going to go in survival. What the fuck was that? Uh, I'm going to go to creative here for a second and kind of fly around and show you the stuff. This is, the full, this is not complete, right? This is a pretty fairly big build for me. So uh, let's do a little quick little loop here. You see the colors and the stripes lead to the walls that are part of the pods in each wing. And this is the main, I call it the bar, because it's built kind of like a bar. And you look at that, that's my basic chest where I keep stuff, the ender chest, crafting table, just basically like the stuff that I need, like everyday carry stuff. So we're gonna go around and you can see, hey, look here, this is the nether gate room. That's where I, my nether gate is. Go in here, there's no sign on the door, but it says armory. That's where my armor and stuff is. I, I swear there was a there was a sign here. Uh, you follow the orange one, bam, brewing. Go down here. I'm going to show you show you this one a little bit because this one's a little more designed, where you have bracers and stuff. So that's that's the nether wart. That's the mushrooms. That's where I keep the potions at. It's a little chest. These are the brewing stands. Bam, underwater, keeping in theme. That's the chest. You got the sea pickle simply because it's got an aquatic theme to it. Um, you go back up, boop. Now those steel doors are part of the iron doors, I'm sorry, are just part of a design issue. So this is the library. I'm gonna run out. I've got multiple enchanting tables here. Why do I have multiple, multiple enchanting tables? Uh, sometimes whenever you go to the top enchanting table, it doesn't have shit. It doesn't have shit that you want. So you want to try another enchanting table that might have slightly different enchantments. So you usually you put torches up and you get to take torches down. It, this is the warehouse for main storage unit. I kind of like this room. I'm happy with how it turned out. Cramped. Yes, I should have taken the stairs down. One more level. You can see that the um, the stuff that's under the chest, that's what's in the chest. So greenery there, cobble, coal, you saw that. If I take the stairs down one more step, or up one more step here, this is the multi-purpose room. Uh, none of this stuff, none of the storage warranted its own room. You can see you got uh, construction supplies here. Ba -ba -ba. Got some dyes in here, so got my flags and stuff. Again, it doesn't need its whole room. I think the rooms here are fairly spacious. Uh, redstone, yeah, it's redstone. Look at that redstone. Got a, uh, and this, is, oh, this is the hibachi. That, that's the hibachi. Yeah, a little design flourishes here. Most of what I do is functional, but some of it is uh, kind of simulative of real world stuff. This is the village. Um, it's built on top of an actual village. I've tried to incorporate that into the design. It looks a little rough. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Um, it spawned way more iron golems than I thought it would. I don't know what I did to make it spawn so many iron golems. But it has. So, anyway, you can see all the villagers have their own little... Uh, their little cubby holes with their, their tool blocks to kind of give them their professions. Alright, now each corner is... Uh, different farms. So this has bamboo, obviously, but savanna trees and llamas. You can see I've got conventional farms here. With the sugar cane, the beet roots, and the, the, the this one's gonna be chickens. See a little chicken there, and some spruce wood. This is all carrots and potatoes. This is sheep and birch wood. This is all wheat. So you 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 get you get the pattern though. Different types of trees, different tr types of mobs to farm. This is the external wall as it would like to be built. I've only got on this one corner here. Uh, obsidian flourishes, and these little. These little uh, trap doors here, you can see through them pretty well. In addition, they can block some arrows from incoming enemies. And those those water fountains, turn them on, you can swim up it, you turn them off, you basically pull the drawbridge up. So you come back inside. Uh, again, really short tour. Uh, this, is, this is the central staircase. It goes down to the mining area. This is an alternate way into the storage area. You've seen this before. See, cobble again. And we're going to come back around. 
And boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I have a smelting area, which leads right into my nether gate room, which again is not completed. But if you need to smelt stuff, there's a source of lava right there, the nether. I'll just pop in, go to a lava ocean, bam, pull out a bunch of buckets of lava, do some stuff. Got flags for each level of the mine. I don't use much uh, above a certain level. So it's five, and then we get kind of gray for the next set of, of numbers going down. Um, I really only use the last few levels, obviously, for because that's where the good stuff is. So why would I bother doing otherwise? Let's pop in here. You can see the mine going down in the distance. Uh, some storage down here, some smelting I have down here. Uh, I don't haul everything back up because, you know, that's fine. Uh, so, some of it I keep in there just so I can just shift click to get it into the inventory without having to organize everything. Just keeps it pre-organized whenever I'm doing some hardcore mining. So uh, the last part of this is, well, I'm gonna have the last part, pop it here. And, oh, I skipped this before. This is the middle level between brewing and the library. You can see the library up there. Uh, this is the apiary slash oak tree place. I need to put that those holes there are actually for oak saplings. So I grew up very constrained. Again, if I were to pop it down a level for the lower one and up a level for the upper room, that'd be great. But um, I don't have that. So anyway, that that's it. I don't know where the, I don't know where the chicken came from. That's it. That is uh, perfect base in a nutshell.